what's going on guys it's your boy ghost back with another discord.js um, video and I believe this is episode 5 and today we are going to be making the user info command uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go into our utilities folder here and we're gonna just name uh, this user uh, info.js and we're gonna go into our ping command and we're just going to get all of this and then we're just going to delete everything inside of our async run. And yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I found this GitHub. Um, it's made by Anish Shobith. I think that's how you say it. And this kind of is what we're going to be doing so big props to him for making this so we're, i'm just going to copy and paste this and i'll leave the link for this in the description down below and we're basically just going to paste that right um right here and then or no actually yeah and then we're going to change this to user and then we can also do ui for user info now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and code our user info uh, command. And so we're first going to start off. Utilities. We're going to say, uh, let's go down to our async run here. We're going to do, um, message a bracket target and we're gonna come down and um what was i gonna do here we gotta come down we gotta put a comma here that was my phone don't worry about that delete this do this okay no grammar issue it's fine now we're going to do constant member equals message dot mentions dot members dot last or message dot guild dot members dot catch dot get is our target message dot member. Then we do const rows equals um, member dot rows dot catch. Then we're going to come down. We do dot sort a comma b uh, then we're going to do an arrow function here then we're going to do b dot position basically if you guys have been keeping up you know what i'm doing here um minus the a position um i've made a whoopsie I'm gonna come out of that and then we're gonna do this like that then we're gonna do dot map Roll arrow function again. Uh, roll dot two string string. I'm gonna come out, and then we're going to do. We don't want to do that. We're going to come down. We're going to do um, dot slice uh, zero and negative one. And we're gonna close that off and we come back out. We're gonna do constant user flags equals member dot user dot flags dot two array. Then we do constant again embed equals new message embed. We're gonna create an embed here and we're gonna do dot um we're gonna do the thumbnail. So let's do dot set thumbnail. Uh, member dot user dot display avatar URL. Um, then we're going to do parentheses brackets dynamic equals true comma size. Um, uh, I think it's 510, 512, something like that uh, for the avatar size. Uh, and then we're going to come down and do dot set color. Um, then we're going to do member dot display uh, hex color. We do 
blue. And then we're going to come down, we're going to do the add fields again, just like our server info. Add, if I could spell, add field. And we're going to do user, comma, bracket, normal brackets. I'm going to come down and we're going to do back ticks, star star, arrow. Then we're going to do username, star star. Um, and then we're going to do money sign, squiggly brackets, member dot user dot username. And now all we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it a couple times, just like last video. And then we'll kind of come in here, we're going to set discriminator, discriminator, which is your four tags at the end of your name, ID. Then we're going to do um, flags. Then we're going to do uh, avatar, avatar. Then we're going to do time created. So the time you created your account, your Discord account. Then we're going to do status. And then we're going to do a number one and we're going to change this to um, game. So let's go back up to discriminator here, we delete this right here. And we're going to do, actually no, we don't have to delete that. We're just gonna change this discriminator, discriminator. Okay. Then we have to put commas at the end of these. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna come down here. Mess. We're gonna change this out to ember .id. Then for flags, we're going to just rewrite this. Squiggly lines. Flags is going to be user flags dot length. Got an itch on my ear. Um, then we're going to do, um, actually, hold on. We might be able to just, can we, I don't think we can. Okay. Never mind. Uh, question mark, um, user flag stop map flag. We do an arrow function here. Flags is flag. Then we're going to come out of the bracket, come out of the parentheses. We're going to do dot join parentheses, comma, space. Then we're going to come out of this. We're going to do this. Then we're going to do none. And that's going to be that. And for avatar, we're going to do, we're going to delete this. We're going to do link to avatar and we're going to do um parentheses money sign squiggly lines um member dot user dot display avatar url and then we're going to do parentheses again squiggly lines dynamic equals true then we're going to do space there we go then for time created, we're going to do, we're going to use our moment here and we're going to do money sign, squiggly lines. We're going to do moment, member.user.created, timestamp, and come out of the parentheses, dot format, LT. And then we're going to stay in the back text, but come out of the squiggly lines and parentheses. And we're going to do moment. We're basically just going to type the same thing. Remember that user that created timestamp. Then we're going to come down out of the parentheses. We're going to do dot format. And then we're going to do um, LL. And we're going to come out of the brackets again. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And we're going to put that like that. And I think that should be it. We're going to change the format or actually, no, hold on. We don't need the format. We need the moment member 
user, and then we're going to do dot from now. Okay. Then we're going to come down to time created or status, and we're going to do um, member dot user dot presence dot status. Then we're going to come down the game, and we're going to do um, member dot user dot presence dot game. Um, not playing a game if the person is not playing the game then we're gonna press comma we're gonna come down we're gonna do the backslash we're gonna do u 200 b okay now that that's done we're gonna come down again we're gonna do dot add field and we're gonna do member New comma bracket, and then we're going to do. We're just gonna get the first four here, and we're going to do uh, highest roll. So the highest roll that the member has, server join date, the hoist roll that the user has, and then we're going to do the rows, all rows that the member has. So now we're going to do um, member dot rows dot highest dot ID equals message dot guild dot ID uh, question mark uh, none in single quotes, single quotes, single quotes. There we go. None. Um, then we're going to do Member dot rows dot highest dot name. Okay, and then server join date. Uh, we're also going to do the moment here, so we're going to do um, moment um, member dot joined at dot format. And we're just going to put the ll and lt in the same file, so we're just going to do um, ll comma lts. And that's gonna be that. Then for the highest roll, we're going to do with the hoist roll, we're going to do um, member that okay. Member that rolls that hoist is member that rolls that hoist that name. None. Then for rows, we're going to come down and we're going to do Brackets, nope, we're gonna do brackets, um, money sign, squiggly line, rows that length, we come out, eval brackets, then we're gonna do um, colon, star star, or pound, then we're going to do, all right, I'm back, uh, we had a little error. Um, that I had to fix with one of the with the line uh, time created up here. This was a period. This was a comma instead of a period. This was a comma instead of a period, and um, I think I put ls in here and or lts instead of uh, or no here lts instead of lt. But everything's fixed here, and I also added uh, the hoist or not the hoist, the rolls. I also added the rolls here, and we also added the U200B. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and save this, and we're going to do no dot. And we have an error. Oh, okay, so give me one second, guys, while I get my token, because i stupid and forget to keep putting it in. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the bot now. There we go. I'm gonna come over here. Make sure you guys join my Discord server. I can help you guys with your bot. And um, I'm also going to be redoing the entire Discord as well. So we're just going to do user info. There we go. All right, guys. So we have my username. We have my discriminator, uh, 7863. We have my ID, my user ID. If we don't have any flags, then we have my link to my avatar. 
Then we have the time created. So this account I made three years ago. I am on Do Not Disturb. I'm not playing any game. Uh, I don't have a role. I don't have any roles. Just joined the uh, Discord yesterday. Just made it. Now if we run this and we do this again, user info, you can see now that the embed color changes color because of my role. And we also have a uh, highest role here is ghost and we have one role. And uh, yeah, so that's the user info command guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like. Um, I'll be coming out with a um, bot info command and a help info command uh, soon after this video. If you guys enjoyed, um, I already said all that, so I don't know why I keep repeating myself. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys.